Hey guys, welcome to Tires 37. Today I'm reviewing this, which is the 4 vs. Thanos Avengers Infinity War Funko Pop movie moment. And um, this is pretty cool. We got a nice clear view of them box. Pop 707, pop there. Infinity War movie moments. And um, yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, top, you can see the insides of it. And that's something I really like about these movie moment boxes. They just basically show you it from all angles. So that's pretty cool. And then on the back, we have the CGI pictures. I really don't like the CGI pictures that much, but still, it's pretty neat. And we have movie moments, Avengers Infinity War, and 4 vs. Thanos. So yeah, let's open this up. So, here we have 4 vs. Thanos. And I do want to say, I think this background back here, I think that is the same one as the Captain America vs. Thanos. I'm not 100% sure about that. It might be different, but I think they use the same background. But they are in Wakanda, so it kind of makes sense. And those areas were pretty close together in that film. In fact, it might even be the same area, because it's really close in the scene. So that would make sense if it is. Um, but yeah, I really like this Funko Pop. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I really like the first version of 4 they did in the series, but it was a little bit disappointing because he didn't actually, you know, they didn't actually do him in his suit that he has at the end of the film. So this is really cool. It's given us him in his suit that he has at the end of the movie. Which is my favorite costume for 4, so I think they did a really cool job of that. You can also see the lightning around him as this was when he attacked Thanos with Stormbreaker, which is pretty cool. You can also see some lightning effects on Stormbreaker as it's been thrown at Thanos. And um, yeah, just the lightning is really cool. 4 isn't actually like on the ground. You can just see like this little lightning base that's kind of holding him up. And then you can see his face, which is pretty cool. He also has like a scar that runs across his eye, which is a really nice detail. Um, he's got some nice detailing on his beard and hair. I think this is the same uh, head that they've used before, um, but still it's pretty good. It's a good representation of the actor, so I don't mind that. And um, you can see too where his hands open like he's just thrown Stormbreaker, so that's pretty cool. And uh, Stormbreaker is pretty neat. It's got some, it's got kind of like the wood and stuff. But yeah, Starbreaker, pretty cool. And then on the back over here, I really like his cape. It's a red cape, I like that. But they also paint it black on the inside. And I believe in the film, it was red and black like that. So I think that's really neat. I like the silver detailing that they did for his arms. It's a little hard to see because of the lightning that's all around him, but it is pretty cool. And then he's also got some silver in there and some detail on the knee pads. Now, like the Captain America vs. Thanos set, their heads do rotate their non-bobble heads. And I personally prefer on bobbles so that's good but if you do like the bobble heads that may bother you a bit thanos is really cool i don't know if this is a new head for him it's different from the captain america versus thanos so it might be new but i'm not 100 percent sure but i like the details on his face and his eyes and his mouth it looks really cool and you can see he's in a kneeling pose as he's just gotten struck by Stormbreaker, and he's like trying to remove it it looks pretty cool um you can see his arm with the infinity gauntlet which looks really nice as he's about to do the snap so that's pretty cool that they've done that. And um, yeah, there's also some nice detailing too on the ground of the rocks and the grass. It's very similar to the Captain America vs. Thanos set just because of that, but still pretty neat. Then here's it from the back and you can see some more of the gold detailing. Thanos looks nice. I like how they keep the um, lines in his arms consistent. And uh, you can see his hand back here trying to fight back Stormbreaker. And um, yeah, just overall, I think this is a really cool set. You know, one of the most interesting and surprising scenes of the movie. I remember when this happened in the theater. Um, I knew Thanos was going to win because it's a two-part movie. So, I mean, obviously going in, I think everybody knew Thanos was going to win. But, I mean, like, this scene where Thor literally almost kills him, I don't think anyone saw that coming. And it's definitely one of, you know, the best ideas for a Funko Pop movie moment. And that's what I like about this line because there's a lot of great movies that have great moments or surprising moments that really need to be made. And I think it's really cool cool that they're doing this with Marvel and some of those other series too. So yeah, definitely really cool and probably one of my favorites in this series to be honest. Thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.